Okay, welcome to this week's episode of Love Summon. And in this episode, we are going to continue working on our stream trip, which means we're going to continue making improvements to our Airstream. Absolutely. We're going to show you a couple different storage solutions. Exactly. And our little heater that we keep. Yep, we'll highlight that thing. As well as, maybe I'll show you I'm some test I'm kind of studying for. Right. So uh, that might be coming up next week. Yeah, we'll see if I pass. And these little birds are... Uh, maybe it's a sign of spring. Yeah. At least so, it's not a snow plow. At least it's not a snow plow and the road is looking good. Much better than it yeah, did last year. Yeah, we should be able year. to get out this year. So, hope you enjoy the video. So, what we're doing right here is testing out a new shoe holder for the front door because we're trying to get some stuff off the floor mat in front of the front door of the Airstream. And so, we're testing out this little shoe rack system and it came some assembly required these little bars and the little racks and and if you didn't want to actually screw into whatever you wanted to screw into it comes with these really kind of clever um, uh, stickers that you can stick to the wall that fit into those holes here and there's a little screw that comes off what if you don't have a wrench yeah and then if you don't have a wrench which they probably assume that we don't, it comes with that. So what we're doing here- If you don't have a wrench, yeah. you really shouldn't be on So RV'd. what you do is you stick that on the wall, you put your rack where you want it, and then you put it, put the screw back on. So um, we're testing it right here on the wall here just to see how far apart they need to be in order to comfortably stack two of these on top of each other. So it's looking like that is about six inches. And next step is to take this out to the Airstream and see how it looks. So right now we are putting in our little shoe racks. We're gonna use the less permanent solution that was provided with the shoe rack, which was sort of like a screw tape. Um, it was like, a, we'll show it to you again. And uh, we're, we're gonna try the less permanent solution first to see if we like it and we like the arrangement. And if we do, we can make it a permanent solution with regular screws. So how'd that first one go? Um, it did okay. Um, it wasn't as easy as they uh, made it look. But never is. It never is. We just need to tighten up those little screws. And what we're going to do with the second one is we're going to place that one about six inches, like about right, yeah, about right there maybe. And I think we'll put thing? the sticky things on first. And maybe, then put yeah. It on, I, I thought, thought that was the easier better. way because that's yep. what they suggested. So we'll give that a shot. Okay. We often hear from people on some of the forums and stuff whether we have a portable heater, and we do. And that would be for taking the edge off when we're boondocking and we don't want to run our furnace because it is super power hungry. This is our little buddy propane heater. You can see it runs on those little green cans. And there'll be a link to our Amazon shop where you can find the little buddy. All right, you can see Cindy tightening up that second one. Which way do you turn it to tighten? Right. Lefty loosey, righty tighty. <clears throat> we'll just see if this survives a tow. That'll be the question, right? That'll be the question. Duh, I was, I was doing it the wrong way. She was lefty loosey in it. <laughs> yes, I was like, okay, this is not getting any tighter. All right, well, so we have them both installed. And you can see, they don't look too, too bad. Nope, why don't you go ahead and give them a test? All right, so the bottom rack is going to be mine because from ergonomics. The top rack is going to be his. And I think that'll work, right? Not too shabby. Not too bad, right? And you, I could probably throw a pair of flip-flops in there too. All right, well, because we're filming this towards the end of the month, um, it's time to give our battery a little maintenance. So if you haven't checked out our little Love Sub and Short, which we did up here, yep. um, I take my battery inside, I completely disconnect it, I record the voltage every month, and then once per month I top it off with my 1.25 amp Battery Tender Plus Smart Charger. So we'll take a look at the voltage to see. At 24 January it was 12.64, and it's 12.5, so we've lost 
0.14 volts over the course of the month, and that's that's about right. Um, so nothing major to worry about. Nothing major. It's holding its charge, which is always good. And now we're gonna go ahead and hook her up, give it top up. off that charge, give her some tender love and care. So another little improvement we're looking to do this winter is to get our laundry bag off the floor. And I thought this might be a good idea. Uh, it's supposed to hook on the back of a door, which in our closet, the door folds in half for passability. So that's not going to work. So I had to come up with a different solution to see how we could possibly hang this somewhere. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to sew these little uh, loops down and I'm going to make a small hole in the middle of the top here. And once I do that, I'll show you, I'm going to go around that with some machine stitches so that the fabric won't ravel. And once I do that, I'll show you why I'm doing it. So, we're going to turn. These little stitches are just going to surround that small little hole so it doesn't decide to ravel. I'm studying for my commercial drone license because the FAA says if I'm making money off the drone or off a video, I've got to take this. And I don't mind taking it. But it's just really some nutty stuff that's in here. Well, I, like, do I need to know the difference between Class B and Class C airspace? I don't think so. Well, crew management, right? Yeah, cockpit resource management. And runway runway markings. Yeah, well, yeah, well, runway markings. Why do I need to know that? You're supposed to stay away from runways. Right. So anyway, that's what I'm doing. So we decided to go ahead and tack down the loops that were originally intended to hang over a door. And instead, I decided to put an opening at the top, which I reinforced, as you can see. I hand reinforced that, and I also hand stitched this down because my sewing machine wasn't able to take the thickness of the fabric. So, and we put a little hanger in here, and we're gonna hang this in our closet. And you can throw laundry in that way. And on the back, it's got a zipper so you can get your laundry out of the bottom. Our previous laundry solution was this. And we would fill this up and stuff it into one of the bigger cabinets by the bed. So let's go out to the Airstream and see how this works. So the problem with the door, it, there was twofold, is I think this was gonna have been too wide for the door in any case. We would have hung it inside. Right. And also the door folds for convenience. Yeah. So if you want to see how this fits inside. The light's not, oh. hey, the light's not working. Well, <laughs> We're our totally unplugged. Our battery is not on. Anyway, as you can see, we were just going to hang it like that and see if it works out as a laundry solution. So. But anyway, that's sort of our solution right there, and we're going to see how it works on our trip. Cool. And where would we normally store our laundry? We would normally store our laundry in this bag, in this cubby. Cubby. So now we've kind of freed that space up for something else. Right, exactly. All right, so I made a little modification to the laundry holder, and that was to put snaps on the back so that it was a little bit more fitted to the hanger and it fit in the closet just a little better without it brushing up against anything. So you can see there, with the minor modification, it fits in there much better. So normally it would be both of us closing out this video, but Rich is playing with his new toy. So I hope you got a few ideas on storage and enjoyed the video. Comment below if you have some storage ideas you'd like to share. If you like this video, give us a big thumbs up. We come out with content and RV related storage ideas every Tuesday. <laughs> Thanks for watching.